Okay everyone, and welcome to another Tuesday Night Classic Movie Reviews. Tonight I will be reviewing the 1964 movie The Lucky Man on Earth. One time, one hour, 26 minutes. Director Oh boy, who, who, what we do, we're gonna, we're gonna, jeez, and Sydney, so cool, <laughs> see how good I've got that name, right, alright, Richard, Africans. We've won a list director A for the screenplay. Cost. Jason Park and Dr. Robert Morgan. Venture. Bit Oi A. A with Collins. Emma. Doing the Morgan, a Virginia Morgan, Jerry Como Rossi Stewart as Ben Cotman, Umberto Rojo as Dr. Mercer, Chris, Christy Cotland as Kathy Morgan. Um, it's <laughs> best <laughs> those names were so hard to pronounce as a movie shot in Italy and basically filmed with English-speaking Italian actors. Plot of the film is when a plague devastates life on Earth, the population die. Or become a sort of job, so be living in the dark. Doc, Dr. Robert Morgan is a unique healthy survivor on the planet, having a routine life of his own survival. He kills the night creatures along the day and maintains the safety of his house to be protected all, all along the night. He misses his beloved wife and daughter, consumed by the outbreak, and he finds against his loneliness to maintain mental shame when Dr. Morgan finds the contaminated with Collins. He uses his blood to heal him, and he becomes the last hope on earth to help others contaminated survivors. But all of this new society it's scary. Locks. Yep, no one with locks. I really like the I really like his take on the story. I like how Vicky Price, you know, narrates most of the film when he's not, you know, even talking on the on that um TV radio. What it was called back back in the sixties, and I like his, you know, his, um, his relationship with his wife and daughter, and it's quite sad, really. Big when the virus hits, fully, he loses his both wife and daughter. You know, his daughter was first taken away and presumed burned, and when his wife died. He buried her in the ground. Of course, she comes back. You know, the, um, adding all different characters to the film is also quite interesting. You know I mean, he goes and not and kills the so called vampire zombies. But I found out 
most of them were actually alive. But he didn't know. And that woman who basically comes to his place, Ruth Collins, you know, she basically tricks him. I mean, she, you know, basically dead more to kill him. And the other group of people, they show up, you know, the ones who look like he's been fighting the undead all the time and, and they had to kill him. Sad ending, you know, where he, they find it's the only hope, but he ends up getting killed. I looked at directing, you know, finally directing, and I got the writers as well. Or they got the good show job in the writing. And, you know, I liked the Dickens screenplay and, and everything about the rest of the film. Because Vicky Price was a scout in his movie. He stole everything that he's in. Because he got a, that iconic voice of his. That iconic voice of his. And he looked. I mean, he wasn't, you know, he was, he's playing, you know, the movie protagonist in this film. You know, the scientist who basically is the last year of Iowa on Earth. And he's done a good job in his role. And he had a good chemistry between the, you know, the, the woman who played his wife, Emma. Danny Eaton, Morgan, no, sorry, Georgina G- Morgan, you know, good chemistry with her and, and that little girl, Kevin Morgan. The other characters, you know, the, you know, Ben, Courtney, you know, he worked with, you know, with um, Morgan, Robert, Robert in, the, in the lab until everything goes to hell. I love how optimistic he's going in this film to bring me really nicely, you know, how bring the edge of the film and the creepiness. I always found this movie really was well, well edited and paced. I mean, this is a different take on the story, which I really like. While I never read the book, I mean, I've seen this and I am legend, but I find this is just a much better um, take on the story. Due to Vicky Price, great acting. Like I mentioned, he's the like um, the Celtic movie and really stole every role seen in this film, right? And like the story and. They like the car hit when they are on the, on the screen are pretty good. You know, it's a decent dialogue. Great editing and pacing. You know, the creature, you know, more like, lack of like zombies more than vampires. What are they calling out to, you know, Robert, which is pretty strange. Yeah, though. Now, when it comes to my school, for the last man I know, for her, I give it a ten, a nine out of ten. Thank you for checking out my movie review for the last man on her from 1964. If you like what you see, give me a like. And you know the channel, great. Join the family. And she's to my channel.